is Melty. So as requested, this is my study routine. I've decided to break them up into parts because my first video on how I've well, what I've learned through eight years of studying Japanese was actually quite long and I don't think anybody has the patience. I wouldn't have the patience to sit through an hour and ten minutes of footage. So this is a more bite-sized version of some of the things that I do when I'm studying Japanese. Today is reading and I am reading the story that I did mention in the video but you probably you wouldn't have known because it I said it like halfway through and it's called Kagai no Yojinbo and it's basically about this bodyguard who gets accepted into the Imperial Palace and she catches the eye of this very beautiful but kind of sinister young man anyways so I'm just kind of looking through the um, story and trying to pinpoint the words that I don't know and making a note of them and after I make a note of them what I tend to do is make an assumption of the words where I feel like I can deduce what the meaning is and um, I will go more into detail about this process later on after this footage so yes and don't worry if you can't actually see anything that I'm writing down it's not that important what is important is that I just want to talk a little bit about the importance of reading especially for a language like Japanese that has technically three different writing systems and I kind of feel like writing and reading is very underrated in Japanese um, language study because most people I guess read and write to know the bare minimum but I feel like actively going out of your way to improve your reading skills can benefit you so much especially if you are thinking about going to Japan and sort of being able to travel across the country by yourself actually knowing how to read things and understand and identify words can be such a useful useful and beneficial skill in the long run so I highly recommend if you're not doing already to take some time out of your study schedule to just read and it can be anything it can be novels it can be interviews it can be news articles whatever you choose to read what I would suggest is before you look up the meaning try to understand the word as it is situated in the context so the context can mean the actual kanji that the word is compromised of or the words and um, particles and the verbs that sort of surround that word so using those things you can have a better idea of what possibly this could mean I've been doing this process for about a couple of months now and I found it a lot more beneficial than what I was doing before where I'll basically just look up words immediately when I don't understand and just take a note of them in like a vocabulary book. I feel like my method nowadays is more proactive and actually requires me to think more and to sort of be more hands on with my learning. So that's basically what I'm doing in this video and then there's going to be some footage where I make my comprehensive vocabulary list so all the notes, all the assumptions that I've made, I basically just make take that information and make it a lot more clear what I'm um, clearer to understand so that when I want to look back on it again I basically don't have to worry about things looking too messy like my notes are not actually that clean because I try to really just focus on getting information down and yeah it's not as pretty as maybe some other notes on YouTube but don't, don't worry about that so yeah that's that's what all I have to say for now there is going to be another clip where I do explain how I managed to deduce one of the words that um, I learned today so you know just keep watching and thank you for watching this video especially considering and anyone who also watched the previous video I did thank you so much you know that is a that, was, that is a long video and being able to stick through it for however long you stuck through it you know I'm really grateful because compared to my other um, content on this channel this is something that I've kind of been a bit iffy on doing so 
I'm trying to take the plunge and just do it and I don't know how much I'll do this is an animation focused channel but it's fun just to do other things once in a while so yeah I'll see you later bye so I just want to show like something that I do when I am reading to try and gauge the meaning of words so this is a word that I learned today and I'm going to show you quickly the process of me trying to understand the meaning because before I search up a word, I try to guess what it means. And I happen to get this word right, so I want to show you my process on how I managed to guess the meaning. So this is the word here and it's compromised of free kanji. So first of all, I think about the reading and then we use the onyomi, which is the Chinese way of reading a kanji. So for this one, the onyomi is good and then for this one the onyomi is gen and then for this one the onyomi is ka okay so the actual reading is good gen ka actually let me like like this good like this good gen ka so but just knowing how to read it alone doesn't actually tell you like the meaning. So let's look at the individual kanji and see what it means. So this means generally good. It can mean like material, like kind of like substance, I guess, substance. Okay. And this one can mean reality. For example, the word genjitsu means reality. And then the last one is very important and basically is how I managed to get the meaning is this is usually tacked at the end of words to show a process, a change, okay? Ka. So for example, the word Bucket it implies a transformation, okay, like a ch like a change. So a material or a thing or item changing into reality. So I guessed that the meaning for this word had to be something like materialization, which is actually correct like it can mean materialization i can't pronounce that word materialization embodiment and realization so that's just how certain words in the japanese language like it's not just being able to read the word you can also gauge the mean meaning of a word if you understand not just how the kanji are read but actually what the kanji individually mean so that's my quick tip okay